Merry Christmas everybody. Coming at you with a video today on how to repair a scratched or damaged disc or fix your unreadable disc air on your Xbox 360 or other gaming console. Today you're going to need a few things in order to repair your disc and get it working again. And this is going to be a method that is different than any other method you've seen out there. It works and there's a few small tricks that you'll need to do in order for it to work. So we're going to have the disc that needs repaired or damaged. Here we've got an unre unreadable um, Unreal Tournament disc. Um, you're also going to need some type of toothpaste that does not have abrasive material such as the tiny beads that you see in some of the toothpastes and you're also going to need some white stick deodorant um, no gel or anything like that it's old school white stick deodorant those are the few tools that you're going to be needing just a quick disclaimer please do not try this if you're not 100 percent sure that your disc is actually damaged and needs repaired there may be some other issues with your console or your pc or any other disc reading device that you have so please just a disclaimer do this as a last resort after you've tried other options wouldn't want people to damage their disc further than it's already been damaged so First thing you're going to want to do is take your disc and run it under some water. You want to get it wet. Get all the smudges off, all the surface stuff, and just a reminder: you're going to want to go from the center out um, using your fingers whenever you're applying any pressure to the disc. Um, never go in a circular motion; that will damage the disc even further. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your toothpaste and just take small amount of it again make sure it's something that doesn't have abrasive beads in it or anything of that matter just gonna want to put it on the disc lay that to the side and you're just gonna want to start spreading this around the disc um, you know heavier scratches might require a little bit more um, but regardless just make sure you're applying it from the inside out and once that's complete again be pretty gentle with it here is the trick and what other videos aren't going to show you is that you are going to want to let this sit on the disc and harden and fill in any scratches or um, abrasions that may be on the disc and allowing the toothpaste to harden is going to fill in those scratches and allow the laser to reflect off the disc um, and kind of bypass the scratches. Um, so again, once you have that all applied evenly, let it dry and we are going to come back in a few minutes. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now we're going to be cleaning off the disc in which the toothpaste is hardened on a little bit, giving it a little bit of time. I'm going to follow the same method inside out using your fingers very gently. It's going to take a little bit more time to get some of the toothpaste off as it has hardened, um, but that's what we want. We want it to get into those cracks and fill in the cracks. Again, you're probably thinking, why are we wiping this disc off? Doesn't that defeat the purpose? Well, we can't really let the toothpaste sit on there, and um, chances are that cracks that need filled in are already filled in by the hardened toothpaste, and hopefully the water should not cause any issues. All right, so now that this is complete, we're just going to go ahead and get some type of soft cloth. In this case, we're going to be doing a tissue and we're just going to go ahead and dry this off. Now, a tissue is definitely not going to be the best way to do this. I would highly recommend maybe using a, a t-shirt, terry cloth, towel something along those lines make sure it's not abrasive again just want to get the disc dry so that way we can move on to the next step this is a 100 percent dry but i'm going to go ahead and let it dry here in a minute and we'll be right back all right for a final step what we're going to want to do is go ahead and apply our stick deodorant just plain old white stick deodorant it can be used whatever Depends on how nasty you are, I guess. And we're just going to want to go from the inside out. And again, just go ahead and apply this across the disc. And this is going to act as a second type of filling agent for the scratches and other abrasions that may not be read by your laser properly. 
Again, once you get it applied on there pretty good, you're gonna wanna just go from the inside out again, just make sure it's all filled out. And you guessed it, we are going to be waiting again for the deodorant to dry and fill in some of the cracks and create yet another layer of compound that will help reflect the laser and ultimately help the disc read. So again, let that dry, we're gonna come back in a few minutes. Everybody, welcome back yet again. We're now moving on to the final step of the process, and that is rinsing off the disc after we have let the deodorant dry and fill in any remaining cracks. Again, same process, inside out. Make sure the deodorant is off of the disc. Again, the key steps in this video that are different and that you're not gonna hear anywhere, anywhere else, excuse me, um, is letting the agents that we put on the disc dry for five to ten minutes um, or until they are dry whatever that may be your situation may be different um, before wiping them off and again that's really going to let the cracks and the scratches and any type of abrasions that are on the disc fill in that way the laser that is reading it can reflect and move past it so we're done now with filling in any scratches again the final steps are just taking a nice cloth I have an old t-shirt here went to go get one and drying it off from the inside out making sure no compound is remaining on the disc finishing this out here making sure it's all dry being very gentle with it going from the inside out not using any circular motions and finally we are looking good so take a look at this disc, look at it shine, it's got the scratches filled in, give it a shot, let me know how it works. If you have any issues, please uh, comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you again for watching, appreciate it. Another video from Xbox Repair DIY, look for more in the future. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment and I'll continue to put out videos. Thanks everybody and have a Merry Christmas.